Hey guys, so I finally got my hands on this. Um, this is the one terabyte inland um, SSD. Uh, it's a really uh, good solution to uh, upgrade your Steam Deck uh, to one terabyte. And I had a hard time getting this at Micro Center because I actually made the mistake of going there over the weekend. And um, they are so busy. I went on a Sunday and I could not get any help on getting this uh, out of the glass case. Um, I went back today on Wednesday and it, what a difference. Uh, I can get help and <laughs> somebody was that right there um, able to uh, get this out of the glass case and then brought it up to uh, for me to ring it up. It is $140. Um, if you don't live near a uh, inland or a micro center, uh, you can get it on Amazon. It is a little more, it's a marked up on Amazon. It's, um, I think it's like over $200 for these. But I think that pricing might be um, what the market would bear. And if people are paying over 200 for this, um, uh, Micro Center is going to charge that much. And on top of that, Micro Center said that um, there's a, a, an associated cost to dealing with the Amazon because Amazon charged them, you know, for shipping and stuff. Uh, but um, if you don't mind paying that markup, you can get this from Amazon in like a, a, a free one day shipping if you have a Prime membership. Uh, a lot of these smaller items, you can get same day delivery. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna open it up. Um, this is my Steam Deck. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is basically uh, turn this thing completely off. Right now it's in sleep mode. Um, so what you wanna do is uh, shut it down completely and there's a power option. Uh, let me I think you just hit the power button for more than three seconds or whatever and it will uh, uh, there is the shutdown option on the second item uh, sorry I have one hand to do this so yep we're gonna shut it down and you want to make sure it's completely off before you open this up and um, uh, you know you don't want any power running through this at all uh, it's going to take a few seconds. It is shut off now. Uh, so just wait for that. Uh, Alright, so while it's shutting down, you are going to put a the um, a Steam Deck OS on a USB drive like this one. Uh, I got this free from Micro Center. Uh, it's only, um, the minimum is 8 gigabyte. This is a 32, but I mean it's the same thing. Uh, just install the Steam OS on here. So when you boot this up, um, you're going to need a, um, a USB-C uh, with a USB-A. So that uh, basically you need a little dongle to put the software on it. All right, I'm going to open this up. All right, so in order to open this up, you're going to need a tiny little screwdriver like this. Um, uh, I think you can get like one of these kits that um, the head looks kind of big though. Um, so you want uh, one of these tiny little screwdriver. You may not have one uh, in your possession. Um, they're very cheap. You can get it for like a dollar. Um, anyway, you're going to remove all the screws. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like eight screws. Um, and then once you open it up, um, you're going to pry it open. I don't know. Uh, I've never done this before, but it looks fairly simple. Just basically remove the back, okay? Okay, so uh, when you are removing the back, uh, keep in mind there's a long screw and a um, and a shorter screw. So these are like the shorter ones. Uh, the long one is on the four corner, and then the um, the short screws are in the center. Um, all right, so once you um, get rid of all the uh, the screw uh, all the screws uh, you can uh, just remove the back now when you prying open the back uh, you can hear um, a snap kind of don't worry about it it's just basically um, it, it, I worried a little bit but it was pretty easy once you take it out uh, this is what the back looks like and um, so yeah so what we have to do is actually remove this thing here and there's a screw underneath this um, sticker um, yeah so um, once you remove it um, this is the battery and your uh, SSD is going to be located here so once you remove this shielding um, 
it's going to be hidden underneath. I'm going to remove that. And uh, again, I would not touch any of this other stuff. Just you can just remove this plate. Okay, so I just removed that screw. And then what I'm going to do is actually just lift this up and then just remove the uh, SSD. That's this thing here with the, uh, the slow shielding. Um, they uh, they recommend removing this part out, but I'm just not going to do that whole screw. I think this is fine. You can just un just uh, unclamp it like this. And um, I think you're supposed to remove the battery as well, but I'm not going to do that either because I think it's shut down. As long as you don't hit the power button, I think you should be fine. Um, you should probably remove the uh, battery plug. I just don't, don't want to do any work. So basically this little screw here, you're going to take it out and then you're going to remove this SSD and you're going to put in our uh, one terabyte uh, SSD in its place. And hopefully it should work. Uh, I'll find out in a few seconds. Okay, so if you never remove an SSD before, it's pretty simple. You just uh, unscrew it and then you just remove this part here. And um, we're, get, we're going to remove that, um, that um, silver... So yeah, this is um, just the uh, 64 gigabyte EEMC, whatever. Uh, so we're going to replace it with the one terabyte. And basically we're going to use this same uh, shielding. Okay, so um, I put the uh, shielding on the uh, S uh, SSD, but it's a little fatter uh, because uh, you can see it's, it tore a little. I, I think the... Um, I don't know. I'm kind of worried now. It's just slightly bigger. Um, all right, so we're going to put it back in. Uh, it only goes one way. So you see this cut on the, um, let me see, the uh, right here. There's a cut right here. That is uh, uh, this cut right here. So it only goes in one way. Uh, obviously, the back is the flat side. We're going to just stick it in. Oh yeah, it fits right in. And then basically you're gonna put, push this down and put in that screw. And that's all there is to this. That That is it, that's pretty much it. And then hopefully I'll put together everything together and then hopefully we can boot it up on the fresh new install, fresh uh, Steam OS. Uh, okay, so you're supposed to use a USB-C to, um, uh, US, uh, like a USB-C dongle. I don't have one handy, I, I have a few, but I don't have one here handy. So we're going to use the Steam Deck dock. This is the official dock. Uh, so what we're going to do is plug this into the uh, Steam Deck. And on the back of the dock, there are um, USB um, A. Like we're just going to plug in one of these. And um, I can never get these right. Okay, it's upside down. So yeah, so hopefully um, when you boot it up, it's going to read from this. Uh, so the instruction says to um, hold down the power button and the uh, uh, lower the volume button or the uh, the uh, volume down button. So we're going to do that. All right, you hear a beep. I think you're supposed to hold down the power. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, boot option. We're going to choose that. Okay, it looks like we can only do the USB-C. Uh, That's the only option. I think you just press A. It's going to take us to the, um, the OS on the USB um, um, memory stick. So it will take a few seconds. Uh, That's the instruction says. So I'm going to... Let it do its thing. We're going to install a fresh new Steam OS. Okay, guys, that actually took longer than I thought, but it finally did it. Uh, so it's a fresh new um, uh, Steam OS. Yeah, welcome screen. Seems to be working. I'm going to set up my uh, Steam Deck uh, for the first time again and then um, reinsert my, uh, my uh, one terabyte SD card. And I should have all the games on the SD card ready to go. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and log back in. Okay, so um, yeah, I got it installed. Uh, after a couple of updates, um, it's gonna take a few minutes, so 
Uh, don't worry about it. Um, if you are stuck on a, an install and uh, update screen, uh, you can always uh, press B and A. Uh, so B means backing up, and then A is you can reinstall that update. So mine got stuck in uh, doing some updates for uh, Steam OS, but it's up and running. I'm signed in, and as you can see, the internal storage is one um, uh, terabyte basically. Uh, it's probably hard to read that. Uh, let me zoom in here. Let me, uh, let me, okay, this is not working out. Sorry about this. Let me. Um, okay, so yeah, it's one terabyte uh, for uh, internal, and for my micro SD, I have four point something uh, gigabyte free. Um, so yeah, four point five gigabyte free, and uh, yeah, so now I have one terabyte right now it's doing some updates on the um, you know common uh, read distribution and stuff which I had originally on on my um, 64 gigabyte so now um, this is my backup now so next time if I need to ever um, you know start steam OS fresh uh, this is my backup um, and also this is my backup as well uh, so yeah um, Basically, if the uh, the drive fails, uh, the one terabyte drive inland fail, uh, I can always reinstall my original um, chip. So yeah, um, I don't know. Um, it's it was fairly easy to uh, install. I think the worst part is actually um, uh, re-imaging uh, the um, the software and also just waiting for the updates because. A lot of times when you're seeing a black screen or a loaded screen, you're not quite sure <laughs> if it's going to work out. And give it a few minutes, it's going to do its thing, and then eventually it's going to start. Um, but yeah, I had a, a couple of uh, fear that it wouldn't install properly. But yeah, after all the updates and stuff, it's working out. Uh, right now it's just doing some uh, updates on some games. but. Yeah, I'm very happy. Um, so I got an additional terabyte to play around with. I'll probably be installing more games <laughs> on this thing. Um, I'll probably never play any of these games, but um, hey, you know, it's good to have the, the games installed already and ready to go. Um, so let me go back to um, home here. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. So now, um, now I can look at my recent games or whatever and see what I want to install or want to try out. I bought a bunch of games um, uh, on sale during the uh, Black Friday sale, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what's great on Steam Deck, and then um, yeah, I'll probably be trying out some of these games. Uh, all right, um, thanks for watching. Um, this was almost a terrifying experience, but it's working out. As you can see, I just put in the chip, um, screw back everything, and it's working. Actually, I haven't screwed back everything because I wasn't quite sure um, if if uh, it was going to work out. But um, what you can do is uh, now you can go and go ahead and screw back in the uh, the screws. Uh, right now, it's just being clamped together. It's a really good clamp uh, when you put the back there. But yeah, so um, thanks for watching. Um, I didn't uh, disconnect the battery. I didn't think I need to. I mean, I've done a few updates. I'm probably just lucky, but you probably should disconnect the battery when you uh, uh, put in the SSD. I just wanted to put it in, get it out, ready to go. You know, I didn't remove the shielding at all. I just like kind of like half opened it and then just... <laughs> um, so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I actually should have done, but... I think it's fine. I think if you're in the same boat as I am, I don't think it's going to cause any... As long as you don't start up the uh, the Steam Deck by accident by holding down the power button, then you should be fine. Um, I don't think you really need to disconnect that battery. I've done this a few times, like I said, so on like laptops and devices and stuff like that when I upgrade the uh, you know storage. Um, but again, you probably should uh, disconnect the battery. Also... I think this void your warranty. So if you're um, conscious about, you know, um, getting Steam to, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, fix your product or whatever. Um, uh, when you open this up to replace this storage and stuff, you're probably going to void your warranty. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, I didn't mind doing it because I figure if it's it broke, if it breaks, I'll probably just buy another one. But <laughs> but yeah. So just to summarize, um, I paid four hundred for the cheapest theme deck. Uh, took out the um, the memory, upgraded it to one terabyte for an additional one hundred forty dollars. Um, with tax and everything, let's say one hundred fifty dollars. So now I paid in total about five hundred fifty dollars for a one terabyte, um, you know, Steam Deck, uh, which you cannot currently buy a one terabyte Steam Deck. It, the highest it will go is five twelve. Um, five twelve, you're actually paying six hundred dollars. So you're actually paying more for what I have right here, which is amazing. So if you want to save money, that's probably the best deal you're gonna uh, get. Uh, buy the cheapest one and upgrade in storage. Um, what else? Um, yeah. So it's not gonna have the fancy etch screen, but I don't really care. I think that's dumb. I think it's it's a selling point, but you know I don't think it's that it's gonna be worth that extra two hundred bucks or whatever. So yeah. So if you're in the same boat, get the cheapest uh, four hundred dollars Steam Deck, upgrade the storage. Now you're out um, five hundred fifty dollars, but now you have an awesome Steam Deck with a lot of storage. And then if you buy a one terabyte uh, uh, SD card down here, um, you're out another hundred and thirty bucks maybe. So now, um, so in grand total, this thing was about $670, but it's pretty amazing. If you, if you use a Steam Deck, it's pretty amazing. So, so yeah, well, thanks for watching. Uh, I probably sent way too much money on this thing, but I think it's pretty awesome. I already have a nice PC, so this is kind of like, I don't really use this unless it's i'm in bed or i'm traveling or anything this thing is so big though like i hate to lug it around but that's something to consider if you're thinking about using this as a mobile device it is mobile but it's uh, i don't recommend it. it's so big you just need a backpack all right bye